Hello everyone. During the gate exam of 2022 of electrical engineering, there was a question asked and this question was numerical answer type carrying two marks. I have seen that various kinds of solutions are being circulated in the online domain for that question and it appears that uh, the solutions or the answers given are not correct for many of the given solutions. Now, usually I don't make videos on such kind of topics which are controversial, but uh, I am trying to convey the physics behind the question which I think is correct. Now let us see what is the question. We are told that there is a four pole induction motor with moment of inertia of 0.1 kg meter square which drives a constant load torque of 2 Newton meter. Now it is also told that the speed of the motor is increased linearly. This word linearly is important here. From 1000 rpm to 1500 rpm in 4 seconds as shown in this figure. This figure I have drawn here. We are also told that we should neglect the losses. Now this part is also important. Okay. Now what we are asked, we are asked the energy consumed by the motor during the speed change interval. Now as far as, far as I understand this question does not require even the minimum electrical engineering concept. It just depends upon the physics which we have studied in the 11th class. Okay, so let us see what is the physics behind the question. There can be a lot of ways of explaining the question and the solution, but I feel the method which I am going to give is uh, very basic and is uh, you know uh, the, the thing which we have studied during our 11th class and it is directly derived from the physics which we have already studied. Okay, and I am not going to use a single thing of electrical engineering. Now, what we are given, we are given a motor with a load. Okay, so let us first draw the free body diagram of the motor. So let us say this is the motor and this is its shaft. Now, on this shaft, two torques are being acted upon. First torque will be the torque due to the electrical origin okay and the other torque will be because of the load and it is clearly known to everybody that the load torque will be opposing the torque developed due to the electrical nature okay now during the duration of speed change as we can see that the speed change is linear. So we can clearly see that the angular acceleration will be constant because this change is linear. So angular acceleration will be a constant thing. So this thing makes our calculation very easy. So from this figure what we will do, we will calculate the angular acceleration during this, this duration. It is very easy. Alpha, the angular acceleration in radian per second square is nothing but delta omega over delta t which comes out to be 2 pi by 60 to change rpm into radian per second 1500 minus 1000 divided by 4 and this has come out to be I already solved it as 13.09 radian per second squared. Now we are asked to give answer to the nearest integer. So I am little bit over killing the solution. I am taking up to two decimal points and after that I will round off. Only one decimal point would have been enough for us but let us try with little bit more accuracy. Okay. Again if I just see that this alpha is now a constant. Now it is very easy from this free body diagram that I can see that during this change of speed, I can write T electrical 
माइनस टी मैकेनिकल और टी लोड इज इक्वल टू आई अल्फा वेर आई इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया ऑफ दिस मोटर ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस I can see what the value of T electrical. T electrical will be simply I alpha will be zero point one into thirteen point zero nine plus T load, which is two only two newton meter. So it comes out to be three point three one newton meter. Okay. Now let us see. what is the angle which is covered during the instant or the duration of this 4 second it is very easy we can find out theta is equal to omega not t plus half alpha t squared which comes out to be 2 pi by 60 into 1000 into 4 second plus half Alpha thirteen point zero nine into four square, and this on solving comes out to be. I have solved it here as five twenty three point six radians. Okay, now we know that the. Energy consumed by the motor or the the full set motor and the load set it will be equal to the energy which is being delivered by the electrical supply. So if I find out the total energy given by the electrical supply, then I will be able to write the answer here. Okay. Now we know that the electrical energy which is being delivered to it will be simply equal to the work done. by the electrical torque during this interval now what it will be it will be simply torque electrical into theta which is traveled during this duration now torque electrical and theta are on the same direction everywhere on the periphery so their the dot product is simply t electrical theta okay so on solving the total work done or i can write the energy consumed during this duration comes out to be 3.31 into 523.6 and it comes out to be 1733 joules to the nearest integer so i believe the answer to this question is 1733 joules now many of the uh, people on online platforms have solved this question and the answer which we are they, which they have given is around 1043 joules that i believe is not correct because they are not seeing the complete picture what they are doing they are just seeing the energy consumed by the load torque or just the load the energy which is being taken by just the load okay they are not seeing that this moment of inertia is going to store some kinetic energy in it that is there will be a change in the kinetic energy between this duration or during this duration okay now to you know realize this that the answer given by them is not okay we can consider the situation let us say after this second after 8 second what i do i remove the torque electrical so will this motor get directly to zero speed no it will not get directly to zero speed it will linearly go down to zero speed and it will take some time so what does it mean it means that there is already some stored energy in the motor in the form of kinetic energy which will be gradually consumed over this duration so we can see that this answer is not a complete answer and the complete answer will include the energy 
consumed by the load torque as well as the energy stored in the form of the kinetic energy during this period of change okay so i believe the correct answer will be 1733 joules so if you find that this concept is helpful to you then please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you